the next sort of next couple of hours of our lives. So it's Philippians 2, 9 to 11. Therefore, God exalted him to be the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. This is talking about Jesus, of course. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And so we have the privilege, we have the opportunity, we have the honor over the next hour. We can do it every second of our lives. But right now we have the opportunity with this great worship band behind us to, to do that, to, to, for every knee to bow. We can bow and proclaim who Jesus is, proclaim that he is our saviour. Um, with our tongues, we confess that he is our Lord. So it's such an honor for us. I just wanted to, to set that scene before we go into this first song. So let's pray before we start our time of worship and thank, um, thank God. So thank you, Jesus, so much for that sacrifice over 2,000 years ago that you, that you gave for us to save us so that we could be added to you. And we, as Christians here in this room, we stand and we proclaim that you are our saviour. We kneel and we thank you for your sacrifice. We thank you for your glory. And we proclaim you as king of kings. We proclaim you as, as, our, as, our, as our, our ultimate, um, our saviour, Lord God. And we are just so grateful for you. Thank you, Father, that you love us so much that you gave your only son for us. And we just take